Hey everyone, what is going on? Man, I personally think that the iPhone 4 was the most important iPhone that was ever released. Now, I want to disclude the first iPhone. I mean, everyone's going to say that the first one was the most important and I'm going to agree. It started everything, you know, but taking that out of the proportion, I believe that the iPhone 4 was the most important iPhone that was ever made. Now, I'm not saying this was the best iPhone ever made, but I mean, I'll tell you like this, going from the predecessor to this version, the 3GS to the 4, I mean, you went from a plastic build to a super premium build and this is what really made the iPhones feel way more premium and it kind of paved the way for future iPhones to be that more premium device. It just feels so good in the hand. It's like glass on the front and the back and the aluminum on the side. It really changed the way that the iPhones looked and felt afterwards. And even if we look now, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and the iPhone 10 are all using glass backs that the iPhone 4 actually started. And going one step further, I mean, they changed the way the body looked as well. Before, it was kind of that awkward shaped plastic on the back that, I mean, it felt kind of good in your hands, but, but they went, when they switched up to the more boxy way, I personally love that a lot. And you have to remember that the same year this iPhone was released, it was the same time we saw the first Samsung Galaxy. The HTC Desire was released, and even the first Nexus, the Nexus 1 came out the same year that the iPhone 4 came out. And in my opinion, the iPhone 4 was way ahead of those phones. So at that time, the iPhone 4 was way ahead of its competition, but I don't really want to say that now because I don't really think the iPhones of 2018 or 2017 for that matter are really that much more ahead of the competition, even if they are at all. I don't even think they're that ahead at all. And a super important thing that the iPhone 4 brought was the front camera, which brought FaceTime, it, but that was more of an iOS feature. It's not really specifically the iPhone feature. A and this iPhone wasn't necessarily the first phone with a front camera, but you can best believe that after this iPhone was released, more and more companies started adding front cameras to their phones, which really shook the market as well. I mean, we saw the same thing with the iPhone 7 when it removed the headphone jack. More phone manufacturers started removing the headphone jack because that was the trend. So adding the front camera was a trend that I would say Apple pretty much started. And the iPhone 4 was also the first time we saw the Retina display on an iPhone. And personally, seeing the difference between the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4 was a huge jump. And I only bring up the iPhone 3GS because I want to show that little difference between the two versions, you know, the, the predecessor and the successor. And even looking at it now in 2018, the iPhone 4 display doesn't look that bad at all. I mean, I could pretty much use it. I mean, the display is fine, but, you know, the phone, I, I can't really use a phone that's like stuck on iOS 7. But the iPhone 3GS display, you can tell it's noticeably not as good. And even though you can use it, I really wouldn't enjoy using an iPhone 3GS display right now. But the iPhone 4 wasn't perfect. You know, it had a few problems with the antennas and stuff like that. But as a whole, I can't really think of another iPhone that was as important as this one that really brought that much to the table. Maybe in a few years, I'll probably say that the iPhone 10 was the most important iPhone because, you know, that's probably the trend that's going now. Bezel-less displays and all that. But as of now, I'm pretty sure this iPhone, in my opinion, was the most important iPhone that was ever released. And there's probably more features and stuff that I haven't even pointed out yet. Yet, but these were the main ones that I could come up with and guys that is pretty much it If you have any questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below I read every single comment so chances are I'm gonna read yours hit that like button That will mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button speaking about iPhones We're still doing the iPhone success and iPhone SE giveaway All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram my Twitter and Instagram will be down in the description links to them and also link to a video explaining more about the giveaway also check out all the other links down there, my second channel, my SoundCloud, all that stuff is down there. I would really, really appreciate if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And I hope I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.